Time now 948. Let's go to Carl Nelson. Jay Bursch back with Imagine It. Good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Jay Bursch back along with Carl Nelson. We're at the Imagination Station today teaching uh, the folks about kinetic energy versus potential energy. And uh, Carl, you're holding a very heavy, what was a bowling ball, now kind of a wrecking ball exactly. of sorts. Exactly. All right, what are we doing today? We're going to talk about potential and kinetic energy, like you said, and we're going to do it in a fun way. Okay. A fun way because we're going to use your head, Jay. All right? Sounds like so fun. we got a bowling ball. It's on a long string, a long rope, about 15 feet high. And what we're going to do is we're going to watch it as it okay, um, changes back. from, right now it has potential energy. Okay, I'm holding it, I don't know, four feet off the ground. If I release it, that potential energy can be converted into kinetic energy as the ball moves across the floor. Potential energy, maximum kinetic energy, maximum potential energy. Okay, so it's shifting back and forth. Okay. Potential, kinetic, potential. Now, the cool thing about this is you, you can't create energy. You can't, it's not going to gain any extra energy as it's moving, okay? And so that's where our little head comes into play here, right? Victim number one. Victim number one. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to take this bowling ball, we're going to start it right under the chin of this head, and I'm going to release it, okay? And then we're going to see what happens. Now remember, Jay, your head is going to be next. Looks right. just like me. Looks just like you. All right, here we go. Let it go. Three, two, one, go. And as the ball comes back, it's going to... Oh. How about that, Carl? How about that? No. <laughs> that was just to freak you out a little you bit. You gave it a push. I gave it a push. So <laughs> if you give the pendulum a push, like this, and we start it across the room, I put in a little extra huh. energy. When it comes back, we don't want that to happen to Jay's head, okay? So most people be very <laughs> careful not to launch the ball, rather just release the ball. Okay. okay. So let's, let's get rid of the head. Let's get rid of the table. Huh. And let's put Jay right up against the column. I'm trusting science. You're gonna trust in science and also in the fact that I don't give it a little energy. So let's see how this lines up with All Jay. Right. That looks that looks pretty good. All right. Now remember, the most important thing is don't freak out and run towards the ball. It sounds obvious, but are you ready for this? I'm ready. In fact, you know what? Why don't you scoot your feet out a little bit in front of you? Okay. That makes you more immobile. You can't run away now. Okay. So we're going to start this right next to your nose. You ready? I'm ready, Carl. Three, two, one. It's going away. I didn't add any extra energy. It should come back and just, oh, just miss your head. Perfect. All right, let's do a bird's eye view right up close to the camera. See what this looks like from Jay's perspective. Here we go. Three, two, one. Was that freaky though when it comes back at your face? A little freaky. Uh, not every day you have a bowling ball flying at your face, <laughs> trusting that uh, the energy will transfer, it'll stop and go back. Right, no. and we're losing a little energy due to air friction as, okay. as the ball flies through the air. So it missed your face by a good three, four inches. Yes. But the visual. Uh, yeah, is thank freaky. you, science. <laughs> thank you so much, science. Okay, so the, the concept uh, has been proven. One of these things that uh, don't try at home, I'm sure, on yeah, this don't, one. Don't try this one at home. <laughs> All right, Carl, thank you so much. Sure. For Carl Nelson, I'm meteorologist Jay Bershback. Face intact. That was Imagine It.